Okay, so today we're going to look at 13.5, uh, which is the chain rule in higher dimensions, so multivariable chain rule. So let's recall the single variable chain rule, so the math 150 chain rule. Recall chain rule. And that says if you have a composition of two functions, the derivative of the composition equals f prime of g of x times g prime. And you could write this uh, as a, another way of writing as dy dx equals dy du times du dx, where the u here would be the g of x. So it's like an example. Find derivative. Find derivative. So let's say we have fx equal to x squared plus 5x minus 1 to the 1 half. So then using the chain rule here, the math 150 chain rule, take the 1 half in front. Subtract 1 from the power, multiply by derivative of the inside, so it be 2x plus 5. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to extend it. So uh, theorem 10. So theorem 10. I'm going to state the theorem first, and then we'll uh, prove it later, after, after we do some examples. So theorem 10 says uh, that say z be a function of x and y, x be a function of g, it's a function of t, sorry, uh, and y, that's a function of t also. Let's also assume that f, g, and h are differentiable functions. Then chain rule uh, states the following. So the chain rule, the multivariable chain rule, uh, so it would be uh, dz dt, so derivative of z with respect to t is the partial z with respect to x times dx dt plus partial z respect to y dy dt. Okay, so the partial z with respect to x, another way of writing that would be just f subscript x, and it is fy, so we could write this as fx times dx dt plus fy times dy dt. So that's the chain rule for two variables. So before looking at the proof of this, uh, let's look at an example. It's actually from the practice quiz. So example. So if, say, oops, uh, I'm too far here. Over here. Yep, so if z, oh sorry, fx, fxy equals x sine of x squared plus y squared. x of t equals square root of t, which I write as t to one half, and say y of t is e to t, find dz, well, I'm calling the z here, find uh, dz dt. We're going to do this two different ways. So method one.
using chain rule. So using chain rule, let me go here, but end of the line. Using chain rule. So by theorem 10, just stating your chain rule, it says that dz dt equals fx times dx dt plus fy times dy dt. Okay? Then a note. fx, so there's my f up there, so fx, strip to respect to x, it's going to require a product rule because I have an x here and sine has an x in it also. So using product rule where x is the first function, strip of x is 1, so it's going to be 1 times sine of x squared plus y squared uh, plus x times derivative sine, which is cosine, multiplied by derivative of the inside with respect to x and qx. So cleaning this up a bit, it'd be sine of x squared plus y squared plus 2x squared cosine of x squared plus y squared. That's fx. Uh, let's do fy next. fy. Uh, so looking at this, uh, there's only one. Uh, the first guy doesn't have any X, uh, y in it, so it's not going to require a product rule. So it's going to be x cosine of x squared plus y squared times derivative of the inside with respect to y, so it'll be two y. So this guy will become then uh, sort of your of the 2xy cosine of x squared plus y squared. Alright, now let's find dx dt. So here's my x and it's a function of t, so take it one half in front. Subtract one from the power, so the one half t to the minus one half, and lastly, y prime, sorry, uh, d, dy dt. Well, y here is e to the t, so derivative would just be itself, e to the t. Okay, so then plugging in the chain rule here, so it's going to be fx, this guy, the sine of x squared plus y squared plus 2x squared cosine of x squared plus y squared. That's my fx times the x dt, which is here. Okay, then plus, uh, plus fy, which is up here, so the 2xy cosine of x squared plus y squared times e to the t. So that's my answer. Now, I'm going to write this as a, as a, function, of, a function of t. So in particular, uh, I know my x is equal to t to the one half, so that can go in place of all the x's here, 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 and here. And the y is equal to e to the t. So I put that in place of all the y's. So it goes there, 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 and there. It doesn't make uh, all those substitutions. Uh, I'll do it over here. Okay, so. All right, let me bring it back over here. So then making those substitutions uh, by d, z, d, t equals 
So it'll be sine. So it's sine of x squared, but x squared is now t to the one half squared plus y squared, but now y is e to the t. So it's going to be e to the t squared plus 2 times x. So x is 2 times uh, x squared, sorry, t to the one half squared times cosine of x squared, but x squared is t to the one, t to the one half plus uh, y squared, so the e to the t squared. And this whole thing is multiplied by 1 half t to the minus 1 half. Then plus, it was 2x, x is t to 1 half, uh, y is e to the t. Then times uh, cosine of x squared plus y squared, so the t to the one half for x. In place of y, the e to the t. And this whole thing is multiplied by e to the t. Okay, let's simplify this a bit if we can. So then uh, it'll be dz dt. So it's going to be sine that is t. Multiplying exponents will be e to the 2t uh, plus uh, squaring that, sorry, uh, yeah, squaring is to be multiplying exponents will be t, be 2t cosine of t plus e to the 2t times 1 half t to the minus 1 half. And plus, uh, okay, uh, nothing can really simplify there, so it'll be, actually you can multiply this e in with that one, so it'll be 2t to the 1 half e to the uh, 2t times cosine of uh, t plus e to the 2t. Okay, let's leave it there. So that's our answer for our method using the chain rule. Okay, now we're going to do method two without using chain rule. So method two. So method two. Without using chain rule. So with the Using general. So how do we do it without using the chain rule? Well, we're going to write our uh, f as a function of t. So f may write this here. Wait. Let me put this higher. So method two. Without using chain rule. Okay, so recall, so remember that would be front over here again, recall our f x y guy was uh, so we're calling the z was equal to x sine x squared plus y squared. Our x was equal to t to one half. And our y was equal to e to the t. So for method two, I want to write my function as a function of t. Let's see. So z then, I'm going to write as the f of t. So the x I can replace with t to the one half. So it'll be t to the one half. And then sine. Then the x squared will be t to the one half squared. Plus uh, y squared, so the e to the t squared. So this then becomes t to the one half sine of t plus e to the two t. 
And notice now, this is a function of only one variable, just a t. So it's like a math 150 question. So we can take the derivative using math 150 techniques. So we'll have then dz dt. It's going to require a product rule. So it's our first function here. So the derivative of this with respect to t will be 1 half t to the uh, 1 half minus 1 times second. plus first function times derivative of second function, this is my second function here, so the derivative of sine of the cosine dt multiply by derivative of the inside with respect to t, so derivative of this guy with respect to t would be 1, and derivative of this would be 2 e to the 2t. Okay, so this should be the same answer as the, the one over here. So let's see. Uh, let's simplify the bit here. So we then uh, we can write it as one half t to the minus one half sine of t plus e to the two t uh, plus t to the one half cosine of t plus e to the 2t times 1 plus 2 e to the 2t. So let's show that the two answers are the same for method, the method 1 answer and the method 2. Let's see. Well, we have, if I multiply this in here, I'd end up with a negative 1 half t to the negative 1 half, sorry, t to the negative 1 half times the sine guy which is the same as this. So that matches with this. Uh, and then the other one, if I multiply this, I guess I can simplify this for the bit here. Let's multiply this in. So multiplying it in would have one half t to the minus one half times sine of t plus e to the two t and multiplying this with this one here, the uh, halves are cancel with the two here to just be, uh, and then adding the exponents. So the one minus the halves would be just t to the one half cosine of t plus e to the two t, which is like this one, plus two t to the one half e to the two t cosine of t plus e to the 2t. Now to compare the two answers, well, these are the same, I'll circle these, this and this one. And we have a one half, uh, sorry, t to one half cosine guy, which is right here. And one plus in, right there. And then uh, the other one we have a two t to one half cosine guy with an e on it. It looks like right here. So that's going to go with this one. I don't play it. So they're the same. So that finishes example. This first example on the practice quiz.